Us. We'll go to Leonardo in Woodbridge, Virginia, listening on the EWTN, uh, EWTN app. Uh, Leonardo, you are on with Deacon Stephen Gray Donis. Hi, um, thank you for um, uh, being able to answer my question. Um, so I'm calling in because I have a question that uh, relates to movies, but I feel that also it kind of speaks to other sort of um, relevant um, forms of media as well. And so I wanted to sort of call in and, and ask um, for sort of uh, what your thoughts were. So um, on top of, uh, you know, being a very avid movie lover, I'm also um, an avid gamer, as I'm sure a lot of your other current listeners are. And so I'm calling in because I've noticed um, both in movies and in forms of media like gaming, where a lot of different, a lot of these different forms of media have a lot of religious influences. Um, so spe- specifically Christian influences, we can go from, you know, movies like the Sister Zack and to the other side of the spectrum, like The Golden Compass and Da Vinci Code. Um, you know, same with um, different types of video games. I mean, your viewers will probably hear familiar names like Final Fantasy or Skyrim or Dragon Quest. Um, and so I noticed that um, on either side and in, in movie and, you know, some of these Christian influenced and in, uh, movies and other forms of media, um, especially the ones that are um, created by uh, people from Eastern cultures, a lot of these um, forms of media have, you know, these religious influences that are placed in clearly sort of fictitious scenarios. They're not really using any, um, you know, explicit, you know, biblical figures um, in any really way. A lot of these movies or forms of media use the aesthetic of Christianity to tell a fictional tale. Okay. And so to my understanding, Go, go ahead. Just uh, just get to the question because I'm just watching the clock tick away there. So, the, uh, in one yeah. sentence, then the the question because I think you made your you set the point very well. What's the question? Yeah. So my question is, um, where do we sort of draw the line between what is between calling these you know movies uh, or forms of media sacrilegious versus licit religious inspiration? Like, where do we draw the line between right, what is right. sacrilegious? That's or, it's, it's a really good question, and you did put it really well. You've clearly thought about this for a long time, and you have some very sophisticated thoughts about it. Uh, it's true, certainly, and I, I'm not as familiar with the gaming world as you, and practically at all, uh, but I do know that uh, Japanese artists, and I've seen this in anime and in other uh, cinema from, uh, from the East, uh, they are fascinated with Catholicism, um, and they often adopt aspects of the aesthetic of Catholicism, crosses and priests and cassocks and so forth, um, and, and divorce it from the theology of Christianity. Um, I would say I have a limited tolerance for that sort of thing. I can imagine alternate worlds where history played out differently or where Christianity had an influence that became where the, where the faith was vestigial and therefore you have certain things that look familiar even though the theology of Christianity isn't behind it. I'm more comfortable with these things when they're peripheral than when they're central. When they start to become a significant element in the story, I do become uncomfortable and I would prefer to avoid it at that point, even if I wouldn't outright condemn it. I, I just find it healthier for my imagination to avoid the subversion of Christian images in that way. I hope that helps. 